Galileo and Gravity Imagine I take a bowling ball and a marble to the top of a building and drop them both at the exact same time. Which one do you think will reach the ground first? If you think the bowling ball will reach first, then keep watching the video. If you know the answer, then enjoy 3 minutes of complete approval. This is a picture of the Italian physicist and astronomer Galileo Galilei. His research was the foundation for Newton to formulate his theories of motion and gravitation. As a professor one day, he took a bag and started walking. He asked his students to follow. He took out two objects, one light and another heavy. Then, as per legend, he went on top of the leaning tower of Pisa and said, "I'm going to drop these objects at the same time. I want one of you to time how long they take to reach the ground." The students had studied that heavier the object, faster it will fall. They were wondering why their professor was asking such an obvious question. As instructed, one of the students started timing them. The result shocked them. Both of the objects took the exact same time to reach the ground. Galileo concluded that the time taken for two objects to reach the ground from a height is independent of their mass. This is what he taught his students. What made Galileo ponder about this? Why did he feel uncomfortable about what was being taught for centuries, which were what Aristotle had said, heavier the object, it will fall faster? What made him question something that seems so intuitive? Take for example an object that takes 20 seconds to reach the ground and another which takes 10 seconds to reach the ground because it's heavier. If they both were connected by a string, the heavier object would dominate and the smaller one would pull it. Because of this pull, the heavier object which would have taken 10 seconds takes more time. However, together they weigh more than the heavier object. So they should actually have taken less time, say 5 seconds to reach the ground. This glaring contradiction made Galileo think about what's happening. With further experiments, he showed that the height of the building is directly proportional to the square of the time taken. These results were the foundation of the branch of physics what we now call as kinematics that is the study of motion without delving into its cause. So never take anything for granted even what your teachers tell you. Thank you Galileo for thinking so hard. This is Saumya Sundaram signing off hoping that each and every one of us have at least a fraction of his scientific temperament. Thank you.